I'm Leila Cayley and it's time to start the feed. Activation numbers are still causing a lot of buzz. Yesterday, AT&T reported that only 146,000 phones were activated in the first 30 hours of release, and Apple stock declined 6% as a result. But Apple has just updated the figures, revealing that they actually sold 270,000 phones during the launch. In releasing his third quarter earnings, Steve Jobs made sure to tell investors his company did much better than AT&T reported. If you're on the fence about grabbing an HD DVD player, Microsoft has just sweetened the deal. Xbox 360's HD DVD add-on drive has received a $20 price cut, making it $179. On top of that, Toshiba will also throw in five HD movies with your purchase. Isn't that nice? You can choose from 15 titles, including Apollo 13, Constantine, and Sky Captain, and The World of Tomorrow. The deal runs out through September 30th. MySpace and the Producers Guild of America are launching a contest called the Storyteller Challenge. Contestants will enter five to seven minute TV pilots on a dedicated MySpace page, and the top two entries will get $25,000 and a development deal with Fox. The page will launch in early September, so start shooting. And finally, some of the seedier elements of Second Life have been banished from the virtual world. While under investigation by the FBI, Second Life's creator, Linden Labs, has completely banned all forms of in-game gambling. The practice was formerly a big moneymaker for Linden Labs. Most forms of online gambling are illegal in the United States. Well, that's it for today, but don't worry, the feed doesn't stop here. For the most up-to-date news and information, all the stuff you care about, check out the feed on g4tv.com. I'm Leila Cayley, and you've just been fed.